So I have an electrical post about 10 meters from my house, but I've decided to give my meter back. Up to now, I've had a grid connection. I've just chosen not to use it. Um, <clears throat> and so online people would say, so you're not really off grid then, are you? Well, yes, that was true. So we're definitely off grid now. Uh, you can see these two cables are the cables that we ran. They go underground uh, back to the house. And uh, then these two cables here, the one with the uh, electrical tape on it, they go up to, uh, to the main electrical feed. So I, I'm sure that uh, piece of electrical tape is very safe. The other thing that people might say me not being off grid is that I have uh, this cable here and that is uh, my fibre internet. In actual fact we have two sets of cables. There is uh, a, uh, another reel of cables so we approached the two main internet providers um, locally and purchased cables off them then ran from the post here back to the house up to the second floor and in my cinema I've got my server rack so the uh, the internet goes back up to there we have a direct connection fiber connection at the rack so back to the title of this video the last electric bill and actually here's two electric bills my last electric bill uh, on the right and on the left is an electric bill from six months earlier so that you can see a whole year. So ringed in red are the units that we used in 2023 and you can see that no units were used. Uh, the 66 date is not 1966 but 2566 BE. Here in Thailand we use Buddhist era and it's currently the year 2567. So this is the bills for last year. Some of you are probably thinking, well I'm only paying 26 baht or 70 US cents a month to have a meter. Why not just keep it for backup power? Having a meter is not without its problems. I've had my meter changed five times because when they came to read it and found that it hadn't moved in the month, they assumed it must be broken. Those of you who have watched my recent videos will know that the main reason that I'm getting rid of my electric meter is that I have purchased a new EV that has bi-directional charging and it has the equivalent of six Tesla Powerwalls worth of backup power more than enough to support my home solar system.